Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. In the Boss Tone Studio software, uh, connected to your Boss Katana Mark II, you can actually download more sounds into the Katana using the Tone Central feature uh, that comes with Boss Tone Studio. In this video, we'll be going through using Tone Central to get more live sets and transferring them to your Katana. Please subscribe, click the bell, like and share this video. So we're all connected up, uh, computer connected to Katana's USB port and uh, guitar connected to amp in the, in the normal way. Um, if you need any help with getting set up and connected uh, or need any help editing sounds or using live sets in the librarian, I've got several videos on those topics so uh, I'll link those in the description below. Now to get access to the extra live sets, the extra sounds, click the Tone Central icon up on the top bar here. Now you can see down the uh, left hand side here we've got the uh, extra available live sets we can download so um, you can see if I click on one of these here that live set there and then you can see the uh, the patches the tone settings that are within that live set. Now let's pick one uh, what shall we pick what about this Katana Mark II authentic amp tones so you can audition these sounds down here, so uh, you can see there's a little play button on each of them. Uh, let's have a listen to that wild lead one. Uh, pick a different one, what's this uh, rocker crunch there? So you can listen to those sounds before you download them to your amp. Now to get these sounds downloaded into your amp, uh, simply select the live set you want so we've got this um, authentic amp tones one selected and click the big add button this uh, blue button up here add there completed then if we switch to the librarian you can see that we've got these uh, amp tones now in our uh, tone studio software as a live set now you can transfer those to your amp in the usual way so if I wanted to uh, transfer all these to the amp all I do export button the upward pointing arrow select the live set so that's authentic amp tones click katana mark 2 because that's what we're exporting to and those settings will now be transferred into my katana so we've got a uh, vintage stack there so there we are you can hear two of those sounds in my amp and of course within the editor you can uh, edit change play around with those sounds to your heart's content and that's pretty much it for tone central uh, it's very very simple the sounds are there in the tone central uh, pane of tone studio and you can just download what is available There's one more way to get extra sounds into your amp and that is to download someone else's sound so Anyone can make uh, a live set of sounds, export it to a file, and then offer it on the internet for other people to download. Now, as a demo of this, I happen to know that uh, Danish Pete, uh, Peter Honore from Andertons, has a set available for download. So I'm going to grab that and use it in my katana. So if we go here to, to this URL, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, if we go down the page a bit, uh, do, 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 where are you? Here we go, downloads. So you can see Danish Peak Katana patches. Click that button. Down that, download that uh, to somewhere. Let's just uh, pick somewhere on my hard drive. Here we go. Uh, let's open that. So we extract those. Switch back to the Tone Studio software. Uh, if we now go to the librarian, click import, the downward pointing arrow, select file, navigate to where we were, and here we go, Danish Peak presets.tsl, open that up, and there we go, we have Danish Peak's set of uh, 
presets and you can transfer those to your amp in the usual way. Let's have a quick listen to a few of those, shall we? Unfortunately, I can't play like Danish Pete, which is a shame, but never mind. Um, very clean, a bit crunchier, bluesy Dane. Very nice. So that's how to use the Tone central feature of Tone Studio and how to download other live sets from the internet to use in your katana. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Keep making music and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.